More frustrations for people trying to get their unemployment benefits. A judge is getting ready to dismiss a lawsuit against the Virginia Employment Commission. Today on your side's Chris Horn breaks it down now and explains what it means for people trying to get their checks. Although the federal judge says the lawsuit's no longer necessary because the VEC has reached some progress benchmarks, one of the plaintiff's attorneys says it wasn't a total loss. He says just filing the lawsuit has sparked some constructive change. The class action represented people having problems in two categories, those waiting for more than 21 days because of issues with their claims, and those who were getting benefits but had them abruptly cut off. After agreement from both sides, a federal judge in Richmond is expected to dismiss the lawsuit, saying the VEC had reached enough progress benchmarks. A plaintiff's attorney doesn't see it as a defeat and says the lawsuit led to some progress in having claims adjudicated. Which was to um, bring deputy adjudications to over 125,000 people quicker than they would have otherwise happened throughout much of 2021. But Levy Lavelle says a new backlog has developed among claims that are being appealed. For people facing challenges and specific um, issues on their claims, like hearings coming up, um, there's a network of legal aid providers across the state. The attorney says Congress can help Virginia and every other state by reauthorizing them to hire outside claims personnel. That plan was in place last summer, but the authorization expired in early September. So now the VEC is once again understaffed. Ultimately, there's a lot that needs to happen still, and we're looking for Virginia's leaders to step up and um, see that that necessary change um, happens, continues to happen, because a lot of people are still out there hurting. In other words, the attorney is saying people who continue to have problems with unemployment need to focus on the incoming Secretary of Labor in the Yunkin administration, as well as members of the General Assembly to hold the VEC accountable. We also have a link on our website, wavy.com, for Legal Aid Society. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.